Sometimes you need to recolor an asset to match your design. In this video, I will share a couple of methods how we can recolor a black transparent PNG icon. When I Alt or Option click on this layer, in the Layers panel, it will be the only visible layer. And as we see, this is a transparent icon. A quick way to recolor the icon is using a recolor adjustment. Let me add the recolor adjustment and make it a child of the icon so it will only affect the icon. When we change the color, notice how this has no effect as the icon is black. First thing we need to do is to make it gray. To do that, we can use the lightness slider and move it to 50%. Notice how the color now changed to red. I can now change the color and the saturation to my liking. Using the lightness slider, we can make it darker or lighter. Even though this works quite well, there is one slight disadvantage. If you need to set the color to a predefined color, it can be challenging to get the exact color you need. So here's a better way. I will remove the recolor adjustment and add a fill layer. The fill layer will contain the exact color I have selected in my color panel. The fill layer, however, fills the complete canvas. One way to fix that is by using the icon we have as a mask. If I drag and drop the icon on the fill layers icon, in the layers panel, the icon will now act as a mask and we get our recolored icon. As mentioned, the advantage of this method is that I can easily change or set the color of the fill layer from the color panel. For an exact color, we can use the RGB sliders if needed. Pretty awesome! There are though two problems with this method. First annoying problem is that I cannot select the icon anymore to move its location. To move the icon, we need to expand the fill layer and select the mask we applied. Now, we can move the icon to where we want. Not very ideal. The biggest problem with this method, though, are the effects. When I open the effects panel and quickly apply a border, notice how nothing is being applied. This is because the effect is being applied to a fill layer. The problem with fill layers is that the effects don't work on them. A quick workaround would be to group it. Let me remove the effect first and then add a group to the layer stack. I can now move the mask fill layer to the group. With the group selected, I can apply an outline to the group. Nice, this fixes our problem with the effect. However, the ability to select and move the icon is still an issue. Let me present the best way to recolor a PNG icon. Let's undo our steps until we have the fill layer masked by the icon. I'm going to drag the icon out of the fill layer and move it to the top. We now have the black icon and below it the fill layer. I can now add the fill layer as a child to the icon by dragging and dropping it on the text in the layers panel. This way the fill layer will be clipped to the icon, effectively changing the color of the icon we want. Pretty awesome! The best part is now that we also eliminated all the disadvantages of the previous methods. We can select it easily and move it around. Also, adding effects works as expected. I can add an outline without any issues. If we want to change the color, we can easily adjust the color of the fill layer. So if you want to change the color of an icon, this is the way to go. Before I leave you, I want to highlight a final method using procedural textures. Let me duplicate the icon and remove the fill. We have our black icon back. I can now add a live procedural filter from the layers panel. I will add the three channels and as you might have guessed, I can specify the RGB colors for the icon. If I put 1 in the R value, we will get a red icon. If we know the exact RGB values of the color we need to set, we can enter it in the procedural texture filter. So to get the same pink color, I will temporarily hide this layer and with the use of the info panel, I can retrieve the colors I need. As the procedural texture uses 1 as the max value, we need to divide the RGB values we need by 255. 
and there you have it, the icon is recolored. This method also has no problems with effects and selecting, so it might be a good alternative, but manually entering the values is a big disadvantage in this method. I hope you learned something new today and thank you for watching.